just, it's unreal, it's unbelievable. It's something you don't want to believe that your priest, you know, I said, never would have thought, Father Joe, never. A Somerset County community shocked to learn of new allegations made against a local priest. Father Joseph Maruzio Jr. was arrested at his Winber home and federal charges were filed against him. Now, earlier this month, federal agents raided his house and a church in Central City. Investigators now say he sexually abused children on mission trips in foreign countries dating back to at least 2001. Those living near the church shocked to hear about the investigation, deeply saddened by the charges. Jacqueline Kovac joins us live now with more on that. Jackie. Marty, many people told me that they were surprised Father Joe is facing charges tonight, saying he was always a very trustworthy man. Father Joseph Maurizio Jr. faces charges just two weeks after officials with Homeland Security raided Our Lady Queen of Angels and his home in Wimber, taking computers, thumb drives, media cards, and tapes along with a camera. Investigators say Maurizio would take part in illicit sexual conduct when he traveled to impoverished Central American countries on mission trips through his nonprofit organization. Authorities say Maurizio took advantage of impoverished children, mainly young boys, offering them luxuries they weren't typically accustomed to, money, toys and candy in exchange for nude photos, and on some occasions performed sexual acts in front of him and with him. Joan Dean says she is shocked by these allegations because Father Joe is supposed to be someone people can trust. I mean, I thought he was great. A lot of people left the parish, you know, because they said they just didn't like him. But I mean, I thought Father Joe was a good priest. The Diocese of Altoona, Johnstown, released a statement Thursday saying the diocese is profoundly disturbed by allegations against Father Maurizio. They went on to say Father Maurizio has not functioned as a pastor of Our Lady Queen of Angels Parish since federal authorities searched the parish rectory on September 12th. On Thursday, Father Joe's name remained on signs outside of the Central City Church. Six News reached out to Maurizio's attorney about the allegations, and they say the allegations were made in retaliation against Father Joe, leaving several organizations in 2009. And when they were investigated then, the claims weren't found credible. It's not clear if that investigation was ever brought forward to the Diocese of Altoona, Johnstown. Yeah, I mean, 2009 to now, that's, I mean, too long. Something should have been brought out if they felt, especially, you know, being, you know, kids. Yeah, you know, I definitely feel something should have been brought up. And, yeah, you know, it makes you mad to think that they would try to keep something like that, you know, under wraps and not let nobody know because that wasn't right to do. The affidavit for Maurizio's case is long and graphic, detailing accounts from at least three alleged victims. That information taken by authorities during a trip to Honduras this past July. The Survivors Network of those abused by priests have come out to say that the burden of this investigation now falls to Bishop Mark Barchak to help authorities find anyone who may be related to the alleged crimes. Martuzio appeared in federal court this afternoon and is currently being held in the Cambria County Jail until his detention hearing scheduled for Monday morning. Reporting live, Jacqueline Kovacs, 6 News.